Have you ever been called on the phone when you're in the bathroom and you take the call and immediately the person calling you knows where you are and you're like, Hello, Ralph Makey speaking. No, I'm not in the bathroom. But you're in the bathroom? I haven't, but I've heard that it happens to people. Today I want to talk about how you sort out this problem with your video recording. Ning, 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 ning. Not for when you're in the bathroom, but for when you're making your videos. So let's begin. Let me explain what the problem is. When you speak, your voice goes into a microphone. The greater the distance between your mouth and the microphone, the greater the reverb, the dissipation of sound. All right, so when you have a microphone, you need it quite close. When you're doing a video, you need the directional microphone, which we'll talk about later on. But here's the problem. My voice doesn't just get absorbed into this microphone. My voice goes out amongst the room and it will hit various flat surfaces and instead of staying stuck on those surfaces, it will come back into the microphone. And so your microphone picks up the primary noise of your voice, but then the secondary noise of your voice, and it sounds like an echo. And that's what we've got to combat and find some solutions so that our videos can be nice and crisp. And lucky for you, I have some ideas. We have two approaches to solve our sound problem. The first is to manipulate the surroundings. We can change what the room is like in order to suit our sound. And the second is our equipment. I'm going to do an actual case scenario so you can see what we're up against and what solutions you might put in place. And then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some gear that you might want to um, invest in that comes in at different prices according to what your budget might be. But I want to see if we can solve most of our problems without spending anything. First of all, we need to do a little test I like to call the woo test. You may not have heard that before because I made it up. You may have heard it before from somebody else who made it up, but I haven't heard that they do it. So as far as we're concerned today, I made it up, but you can comment below if you know somebody else who does the woo test, but it's quite simple. It goes like this. You stand in a room and you go, woo, and you listen to how much it echoes so as to give it kind of a acoustic rating. Let me show you how this works in different rooms in the house. Woo! 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 That's fun, isn't it? Do you want to go? Go on, have a go. Give it a crack. You sound like an idiot. It's going to be amazing. So it would appear that the kitchen is a preferred place for people to make recordings. And who could blame them? It's light, it's usually clean, it has a nice fresh vibe to it, but the sound is awful. So I thought what we could do, I'm on my laptop now, um, and I've squared up the shot, composed the shot, we're ready to go. It's recording through my audio laptop, so we're sort of a level playing field. And what I thought I would do is show you some tips and tricks that you can do with stuff around, not to stuff around, but with stuff around the house to improve the sound quality. And so I'll keep recording on this, and we'll see if the sound quality shifts or goes up or down or how it works. Um, and by the end of it, we should have a pretty good feel for how the audio goes. The best acoustic weapons in your house are blankets. Listen to this. So I'm talking like this, and then I move it like that. You hear the sound already? It just muffles and gives a clearer sound. So what you want to do with one of these is put it on the floor underneath where you're sitting. Then place one of these blankets underneath your laptop and on the bench here as opposed to by now we should be starting to make a small dent in the sound quality but the sound is awful um, but we're not all the way there as you can hear there's a heap of sound echo and we can't we're restricted that we can't put anything here or here because if we were to do that it would affect the shot and what it looks like however we have a whole background that you can't see the, the sound is actually bouncing back off of that I am going to put something to sort this all out. Woo! Does this sound better? Is it sounding clearer? But the sound is awful because what we've done so far is this. Let me show you. 
transform that back wall, which was all cupboards, into blankets. They're pinned on, as you can see, by bulldog clips. So basically there's a blanket underneath the laptop and on the bench. Uh, there's one underneath my chair. There's um, pinned ones on the kitchen cupboards behind us and still our frame doesn't look any different. It still looks like a cool kitchen where we might wanna shoot. But there's one more trick I reckon is worth a go. And um, well, I'm gonna do it and we'll see if it works. Ready? So for you, um, nothing visually changed, but did it change sound-wise? Do I sound like my voice has been dulled somewhat? But the sound is awful. I think it does. And here's what I've done. I've put some dunas up on either side so as to curve the sound and enable the sound not to escape it. Instead, the dunas absorb the sound. Now, here's what's really cool. You can then adjust the dunas to adjust how much reverb you get to what you would prefer. And so my room stretches this way, so I would take this doona and I would lift it up, which would kind of keep the sound contained. Because they're doonas, they sort of stay up by themselves. And you might be happy with this, but you might say, oh, actually, I just I want a bit more a bit more here. And you can put headphones on and, and listen to how you sound until you're happy with that. But the sound is... Awful. And what did it cost you? Like nothing. You didn't need a brand new microphone. You didn't need to go out and get anything special. You just need to understand a few things about how sound wrecks our video. All right, let's talk gear. And to do this, I'm recording the audio on my phone on an app I'll put in the description below. It's on a little mini tripod next to my voice. So you'll get to hear how good the quality of that is too, in terms of options that you might like to explore. With audio, it's pretty basic. You pay for what you get. A lot of other areas of, um, of tech you can actually compromise, but with sound and audio, you really do get what you pay for. And as you can see, I'm a big fan of Rode. Their quality is excellent. You do pay for it, but let's talk about what that looks like and then end this video with a couple more tips that would be really helpful. Let's start with a what they call a lav mic. This is the lapel mic. You basically click it onto your collar or the top of your t-shirt onto anything else that you'd like to catch sound to. The other end plugs in to your camera, your phone, your computer. When I'm speaking at engagements and want to record myself, I plug this straight into my phone. And this little uh, thing has a, a wonderful way of picking up um, basically anything that's within this range of it and canceling out everything else. It's wonderful when it comes to reducing echo. This little microphone comes in at about $80 and may be exactly what you're looking for. Next, we have the Rode Video Micro. This little beauty sits on top of your camera. This is a hot shoe attachment. It plonks on top of your camera uh, like this. This plugs in to your camera. You need an external audio on your camera to be able to do that. And this little gross, fluffy, weird thing is called a dead cat. <laughs> Not even kidding. It's called a dead cat. Yeah. See, even the people at Rode don't even like cats. If you take it off you have the microphone here cute little thing doesn't take up much time this little gimbal holds it steady and then the dead cat is to reduce wind um, interference so if it's really windy this will cut down and enable your directional mic to capture whatever is in front of it that retails at about $80 and is quite affordable perfect if you're vlogging or walking around close to a camera that's pointed at your face this is the Rode Podcaster. You saw me use it at the start of this video. It's attached to an arm, which gives it a lot of movability. I can move it wherever I want, and it's attached to the corner of my desk. You speak into it. It's for when you're speaking at your computer and you want to record something that has an emphasis on sound. So if you're recording a podcast, if you're recording an audio book, if you're having a Skype conversation where you want the audio to be crispy, this plugs into your computer with the USB on the other end and is great. I wouldn't recommend this if you want something that can attach to your camera. What I would recommend is the Rode Video Pro Plus. This comes highly recommended by basically everyone, uh, now including me. You put this on your hot shoe on your top of your camera, it sits up there. Most of the audio I do in this channel is taken on this. 
when you plug this in it turns on automatically you can turn it on and off and override but when you turn your camera off it does the reverse it turns this off which is great because so often it's easy to forget to turn your microphone on and as a result you um, don't get what you want to get. Has uh, decibel control, you can go much louder or a little bit quieter. Has um, ambient measures, so you can turn down ambient noise that might be surrounding you. It's quite neat and tidy. And this comes off, revealing this. This is a directional mic, so what it points at is what it records. And then you can put a bigger dead cat on it, and it looks ridiculous but the quality of sound you will get when you think it's too windy and the, I don't know if you've heard those videos with the wing going <laughs> as someone's trying to speak through it, this cuts through all of that. So these are some great sound options and audio options. The Rode VideoMic Pro, and I would recommend the Plus, comes in around $350. These may be way out of your range, but maybe for some of you, you're looking to do more and more of this. And so one of these options is a good investment for you to make with both this and this, I would recommend just an audio extension cable, comes in around 20 bucks that enables you to put your camera at a distance from where your microphone is and that's helpful in a number of different cases. There's also a Rode boom mic which the pros use. You can get amazing audio, it's very directional. You basically put it above the camera, it floats above the camera so you can't see but it picks up such clarity of your voice. It comes in, uh, the mic comes in at like 400 bucks and then you've got the stand and the boom and so the price blows up. I'll put prices and links to the, all these in my description below. But that's for the pros, so I don't have one. If that's something that you think, yeah, that'd be, be really helpful, then um, by all means, look into it. Having covered all of this gear, I want to spend just a couple more moments talking to you about some other easy tips to make your sound even better. So the second I start filming, some dude next door starts up his lawnmower. Like the second, like. Press record. Here's a tip about ambient noise, because I think it's nice and quiet. He starts up his, his lawnmower. What do you do? Just go home, see ya. Thought I'd come outside to share a final few tips for you. When you're outside, you have far less echo and noise distortion. So if you can get outside, another tip is reduce ambient noise. You just need to listen around at the moment. There's a few birds and a car in the distance, which should be fine. There's a guy next door that just started up his lawnmower the moment I turn my camera on. Worst timing ever. He stopped to fix his mower, so I thought I'd jump in and make the most of this. When it comes to ambient noise, you've got things like distant TVs, you've got trucks, you've got kids, you've got, you hear that car, um, birds, you've got all sorts of things that you don't normally hear, but you will hear back in the recording. So what you just want to do is pause, turn the aircon off, turn your phone off, have a bit of a listen and see if there's other things you can reduce or shut windows turn off or move away from and that will give you a much better audio. I think the other thing you need to be careful of is sometimes you might sit in a chair at your desk and it's a squeaky chair and you're just so used to it you don't even pick up on it but it drives your listeners bonkers. Sometimes you're tapping or you're fidgeting and that comes through audibly and you don't realize so it's always good to do a bit of a check how am I going am I doing anything annoying that's going to annoy others even more. This is where a dead cat comes into its own not like a real dead cat but the dead cat on the microphone up there just cuts down any of the wind can you hear any of the wind nope it's cool right and also there's no wind so it certainly helps there's a bit of a breeze coming through now so hope the the dead cat is performing excellently I'll say the most important lesson till the very end so those of you that have stuck around I'm glad you did people will put up with rubbish video if the audio is bang on People will give up on brilliant visual if the audio is off. It's that important that we get this right. I really hope you've enjoyed these three videos as we've explored what it means to video yourself well with no gear, no money, and still come out with a pretty good product. 
If you have any other tips or ideas, I'd love you to put them in the description below. Likewise, if you have any questions or things I can help you with, um, hit me up with them. So stoked that you're on this journey with me. Uh, it's kind of crazy. I don't know where it's going, but it should be a lot of fun. I'm going to sign off now. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be amazing. I think we're just over 50 subscribers. That's, that's, that blows me away. 50 people go, yep, I'm in. So if there's people that would benefit from this video that you want to share it with, people that you think of as you've been going through, this would be really helpful. Pass it on to them. Subscribe below. Hit the thumbs up. I think there's even a bell. We'll find out what the bell does. I'll just do look into that. Ding, ding. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video.